begin! There are 14 major internal organs in the body, and they are the brain, heart, lungs, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, gallbladder, liver, bones, muscles, kidneys, urinary bladder, pancreas, and the spleen. The brain is part of our nervous system. It is very important for the body because it helps us in sensing and thinking. It also commands the body in what to do. The heart is located in the middle of the chest and is part of our cardiovascular system. The heart perceives and pumps blood throughout the body. There are two main sections of the heart, the atriums and the ventricles. Now let us talk about the lungs. The lungs are part of the respiratory system. In my opinion, the lungs are the most important major internal organ because it filters the air that we breathe in, and gets the oxygen from it when we inhale, and removes the carbon dioxide when we breathe out or exhale. <sighs> Next one is the digestive system. Let's start with the stomach. The stomach processes the food that we eat and secretes acids and enzymes to break down food. It does this to make it easier to be digested by the intestines. Now it is time for the gallbladder. This tiny organ lives just beneath the liver. The gallbladder's main purpose is to store bile. So this bile is used to break down fats. Now, wondering where bile comes from? It comes from the liver. It's a part of the digestive system too. The liver also filters the blood and it stores energy in the form of sugar called glycogen. Moving forward, we have the intestines. Starting with the small intestine. It is the longest of all the internal organs. Its function is to absorb the nutrients from the food before passing it to the large intestine. The large intestine then takes the responsibility to absorb water from the indigestible residue of food and excrete the waste products afterwards. Last stop for the digestive system is the pancreas, which also is a part of the endocrine system. It has two functions, which are the exocrine and the endocrine function. The exocrine function helps in digestion by releasing acids to melt fats and hard to digest food, while the endocrine function regulates blood sugar by converting sugar from the food into energy and releasing an enzyme called insulin to the blood. Now it is time for the bones. The bones are part of the skeletal system. We have a total of 201 bones in our body. It serves as the structure of the body, which enables us to stand, move, and do all the physical activities we need to do every day. Without them, we would be like jellyfish. Muscles, do you think they're only for the arms? Think again! They are almost everywhere in the body. They help us in moving, walking, blinking, running, and even smiling. The muscles are known as the machines of the body. Our kidneys are part of the urinary system. Their function is to filter the blood and maintain the body's chemical balance by excreting waste and toxins in the form of urine or pee. Thinking more about pee? Well then, let's see our urinary bladder. The urinary bladder is also part of the urinary system. It starts the urine before we think of going to the restroom. Last but definitely not the least is the spleen which is a part of the lymphatic system. The spleen filters the blood that the heart pumps and removes bad toxins from the blood and is also in charge to fight infections. And those are the 14 major internal 
orders and their functions. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.